Welcome, and thank you for joining me. I'm Dr. Adam Elnagar, Director of Gynecologic Cancer Research at West Cancer Center and Research Institute in Memphis, Tennessee. Today, I'll be talking about the different biomarkers used to aid in the treatment of ovarian cancer, more specifically, homologous recombination deficient tumors, which includes tumors with a BRCA1 or BRCA2 mutation. Approximately 50% of ovarian cancers are homologous recombination deficient. BRCA is the most recognized type of HRT. However, there are many genes that also are involved in homologous recombination repair, or HRR, such as mutations in the Fanconi anemia genes, the RAD51 family, P10, and possibly EMSY amplification. One key point to note is that all BRCA mutated tumors are, by default, homologous recombination deficient. But not all tumors that are positive for HRD are due to a BRCA mutation. When we look at the breakdown of ovarian cancers, we see that approximately 53% can be classified as HRD positive. Tumors that are HRD positive are particularly sensitive to DNA damaging agents such as platinum agents. Many epithelial ovarian cancers, particularly high-grade serous ovarian cancers, carry some sort of HRD as a result of germline or somatic mutations within key genes, promoter methylation impacting protein levels, or through other causes yet to be clearly elucidated. Let's spend a few moments on why we should tumor test at diagnosis. Tumor testing for mutations in HRR identifies more patients than germline testing. For example, based on the prevalence of various mutations, tumor BRCA testing identifies 22% of patients, while germline BRCA testing identifies only 15% of patients. If we expand tumor testing to include detection of mutations in additional genes in HRR, in addition to BRCA, we see that approximately 35% of patients will be positive for HRD. Genomic instability testing using tumor tissue identifies HRD in approximately 50% of patients. Tumor testing, including HRR mutation panel tests and HRD genomic instability tests performed early on helps to inform clinical considerations. Before we conclude, consider the following key concepts the next time you see a patient with ovarian cancer. Approximately 50% of patients with ovarian cancer are homologous recombination deficient. HRD can be identified by genetic testing. We perform genetic testing because HRD occurs at a high frequency, has an impact on the patient and their family if a germline mutation exists and offers the opportunity to affect their treatment if they carry an HRD mutation. I hope you found this information to be valuable as you care for patients with ovarian cancer in your setting. Thank you.